Hello there, welcome to the news in brief from PEP about television. My name is Omo Ikariri. First, the headlines. Federal government approves new whistleblower protection bill. Edo State Deputy Government flags off Edo University to hospital free medical outrage. On illegal mining, Oshu Governor orders stoppage of all activities and arrest of operators. PVC collection registered voters arrives as early as 6 a.m. at INEC office in River State. And yell tide, adult correction service assures of adequate security. Now the details. The federal government has approved a new whistleblower protection draft bill. This was one of the memos represented by the Federal Executive Council, FEC, by the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, the reports. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Dr. Zainab Ahmed, disclosed this to the State House correspondents after the week's council meeting chaired by the Vice President, Yemi Osibanjo, at the Asorok Villa, Abuja. She lamented that the existing whistleblowing policy launched on December 21, 2016 by Buhari-led administration was losing momentum. The minister said that the whistleblower's protection policy facilitated through the Minister of Finance provides legal cover for individuals who voluntarily expose acts of fraud, bribery, looted government funds, and more. The policy, she said, rewards whistleblowers who provide information about any financial misconduct or tip-off about stolen funds to the ministry's portal with 25 to 5% of the funds recovered. Ahmed said the council approved the draft bill to strengthen the fight against corruption and to protect whistleblowers that provide useful information to the federal government. Favor Percy Idubo, paper about television. As part of activities of the upgrade of Alchi General Hospital to Edo State University Teaching Hospital in a build to bring quality health care closer to the people of Edo North in particular and Edo State in general, Edo State Deputy Governor Comrade Philip Shaibu has flagged off a three day free medical outreach for the Edo State University Teaching Hospital. The report. Speaking during the flag of ceremony in Auchi, the deputy governor represented by Mrs. Josephine Ehemohai, also of the Minister of Finance and Budget, thanked the state governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, for upgrading the Central Hospital Auchi to Edo State University Teaching Hospital. The deputy governor noted that the upgrade of the hospital became necessary in order to offer quality medical services to the people of the community and its environs. He urged the host community to make good use of the facilities by making themselves available for the free medical exercise. The chief medical director of the University Teaching Hospital, Professor Sylvester Idogun, acknowledged the magnanimity of the state government towards making the dream a reality. He, however, helped on the need to keep up upgrading the hospital until it meets an enviable standard. In his address, the Vice Chancellor of Edo State University, Uzare, Professor Emmanuel Aluo, said that the quality of equipment in the teaching hospital will enhance the functionality of the hospital and improve the capacity of the personnel in delivering quality health care to the people. He noted that the university has employed about 26 full-time consultants and 25 honorary consultants in different fields. In a goodwill message, the author of Archie Alaji Aliru Momo Ikelebe the Third appealed to all sons and daughters of Archie and the entire Edo Nuts to continue in their unwavering support to make the facility serve its purpose. He enjoyed all medical staff of the hospital to show commitment and maintain the right attitude to work so as to deliver quality service to the people. Fave or Pese Idubo reporting. Over the years, Idoko, Ibala, Ikoda, Araromi, and other neighborhood communities of Ilesha, the Ijesha heartland, have been known for gold mining activities in Oshun State. These communities were artisanal mining activities 
take place in environmental degradation, which has caused gross health challenges to the residents. Favor has the report. Concerned about the environmental impact of illegal gold mining in Osho State, Governor Ademola Adeleke has set up a committee to look into the activities of mining companies in the affected communities. The governor emphasized that his administration will not condone a situation where revenue collector agencies earn more than the state government. He assured of his administration's commitment in bringing development to the doorstep of the citizens while pledging to be accountable to the states. Favor Percy Idubo, reporting. Following the nationwide coalition of permanent voters card PVC, as announced by Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, crowd of registered voters besiege INEC office at Rumo Dumaya Obiakbo, local government area of River State. The report. The Independent National Electoral Commission had announced Monday, 12th December 2022 to Sunday, 22nd January 2023 as the date for collection of permanent voters' card PVCs in all the 774 local government offices of the commission. The crowd that turned out at the Rumudumuya Obiakpo local government area of River State decried poor arrangements by INEC officials in the collection of the PVCs. Some of the registrants called on INEC to put modalities in place for efficiency and express their determination to vote in credible candidates in 2023. Favor Percy Idubo reporting. And finally, the controller of operational service, Edusted Command, Charles Nkem Okude, has assured that his command has put modalities in place as regards security during the year tide. Favor of Percy Dubo reports that the controller gave the assurance while carrying out the last quarterly inspection tour of the custodial facilities in Edo State. Ogude appreciated officers and members of the command for maintaining peace and order in their various areas of duty. He informed the staff of recent giant strikes made by the officers as heavily led by the Controller General of Corrections, Haliru Nababa get towards the implementation of the Nigeria Correctional Service Act of 2019. The giant strikes, he said, included the integration of new service uniforms, provisions of operational vehicles, and activation of correctional officers' reward funds, in which 25 officers have been duly rewarded by the Controller General. The Controller noted that matters of security at the U-Tide and beyond remains on red alert. He also assured the inmates that their welfare and proper handling is of priority to him, and therefore charged them to continue to maintain peace, orderliness, and to participate in various programs that are available for their training and empowerment. Favor Percy Idubo, Pape About Television. And that is the size of our news bulletin for today. Thank you for watching. My name is Omar Kayori. Bye for now.